that, man. And that's what we're trying to do as a society right now. We're trying to take quality of opportunity, which is a decent thing to aspire towards, and push that into a quality of outcome. It's not going to work, man, unless you remove free will. Well, it'll certainly work then. If you don't have a choice in the matter, well, dude, yeah, man. I mean, China has a quality of outcome in a, in some sense because they just tell you what to do for a living. Goodness gracious, man. Back to senior HR business partner, Leslie Brown. She was saying that this guy, James, who sent around this eternal memo saying that there's other variables, scientifically supported variables, as to why we don't have female representation in software engineers. And we can change that if you want to, but just be, just understand what the reference point has to be, what the factual information dictates to you. This lady said it doesn't matter. It didn't matter what was coming out of – how factual his information was. None of that mattered because he was a white Caucasian. He was a white Caucasian, goodness gracious. He was a white cisgendered male. Now, since her making that statement, she has been, quote, unquote, fired, released from employment by Facebook for making that statement. Now, you could go one of two directions here. You go with the direction of like she basically just outed Facebook and let them know exactly what they were with their tactics were the entire time. Or you could say like, I don't know, bro, maybe Facebook just doesn't like the idea of truth telling. Or maybe she violated some clause that she signed into later on. I don't know, man. Maybe there's an actual real legal reason as to why she was fired. It just it's not a good look right now for someone to say what was said by that senior HR person and then within 48 hours afterwards be released allegedly or we could only presume for the very thing that she said. Now, interestingly enough, I have an article here. Can can I add one little wrinkle to this too? Yeah, yeah, to, yeah, to show some uh, balance in reporting. I did hear that there's a group of, um, oh, I was gonna say Facebook, but it's YouTube. There's a group of of, of African Americans suing for discrimination against African Americans on YouTube. And I think I think Facebook may be in that lawsuit too. But it's this idea of trying to curate everything while they're mm -hmm. doing that. They're discriminating. You get what I'm saying? Oh, if yeah. If they're not deleting content based on it being like threatening or illegal, then I'm sure they dabble in discrimination, whether they know knowingly do it or not. You know what I mean? Because the Absolutely. intent is not. You get what I'm saying? Like their their principles are about this curation, and I think that's the problem with all of them. And they end up stomping on people. Wasn't there a lawsuit two years ago about YouTube censoring um, LGBTQ content? Yeah. yeah. That was I mean, so what I'm saying is like she's pointing out a group that's getting some some issues. There's other groups that have had issues. Groups that you would not think would have issues. Yeah. Right? And it's and I don't think it's necessarily because there are people or as an institution, they don't like any of these groups, whether they be white people or uh, African Americans or LGBTQ, it's because they don't uh, have as a, a guiding principle. This is a, an open platform to let people speak. Mm. So you're allowing people who might not like LGBTQ or African Americans or white people or pick your category because it could be like religious people too or something like that or people who are into monster trucks. Who knows what? It could be anything. You're allowing people the wiggle room to bring their biases, biases to work and push their own biases about how the culture should be on other people. You get what I'm saying? Like they're creating the space to allow maybe people who actually are racist or bigoted or whatever to have the space to go around discriminating people they don't like in the name of curation, in the name of creating a better platform. I totally understand that, man. I absolutely understand that. I think it's it's like the, the underlying belief have been has, has overwhelmed everything else, right? To the exclusion of everything else. 